Diesel truck owners, listen up. We're gonna get into something critical today, oil changes. Now, I know it's not the most glamorous topic to talk about when it comes to your diesel pickup, but trust me, staying on top of your oil changes is one of the simplest yet most important things that you can do to keep your truck running strong. And if you've ever wondered how often should I change my oil in my truck, then you're in the right place because today we're gonna be breaking down everything that you need to know about when and more importantly, why you should swap out that old oil. I'm Dusty LBZ here with my friends at Dox Diesel. And if this is your first time being here, then welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can keep up to date with all the awesome content that we're making with my friends here at Dox Diesel. From product reviews to answering your questions that you've dropped on some of our social channels, we've got you guys covered. All right, let's get into the video. We've all heard it a thousand times, change your oil. I mean, my dad practically beat me over the head before I changed my first oil in my car. But what's really happening when that oil is actually running through your diesel engine? Well, oil has a tough job. And in fact, it's one of, if not the most crucial fluids inside of your engine. And that's saying something considering it's a diesel powered truck. Oil lubricates every moving part, reducing friction and keeping everything running smoothly in your engine. But over time, that oil is gonna take a beating, and if you're not changing it out, you're doing your engine a disservice. So first, let's talk about how that oil actually gets broken down. The number one factor that's gonna come into play here is heat. As your engine warms up, so does the oil inside of your engine. That's pretty common. However, it's not uncommon for your engine oil to reach temperatures of 230 degrees Fahrenheit, which is pretty hot. This heat's gonna cause that oil to lose its viscosity or the thickness that helps it coat and protect the metal parts inside your engine. What was once a thick protective layer of lubrication turns into a thinner, less effective liquid, leaving those parts more vulnerable to wear. But heat isn't the only culprit here. Inside your engine, your oil is actually getting sheared by things like the oil pump gears and other moving parts. You can think of your oil a lot like a safety barrier, and every time it passes through the pump, it's gonna get sliced and broken down and chopped like a salad. And over time, the shearing action reduces the oil's ability to protect your engine. And that's when you start running into issues like increased engine wear and other expensive problems that can just come down the road. There's also a matter of contaminants, and this is especially important in a diesel. As your oil circulates through your engine, it's picking up all sorts of particulates, dirt, metal shavings, soot from combustion, and things like that. It's why, as long as your EGR is still in place anyway, you can change your oil on your diesel truck and after 10 miles, your oil is already black. It's picking up that exhaust soot out of the intake system that your EGR is recirculating back in. Your oil filter is gonna catch some of this, but over time, your oil's still gonna get saturated with tiny particles and it's not gonna be as effective at keeping things clean and lubricated. And all of this really adds up to one conclusion. Your oil needs to be changed regularly, and that's what's gonna keep your engine healthy and your truck on the road. So knowing this, why do maintenance lights pop up on your dash reminding you that it's time to change your oil? Manufacturers recommend specific oil change intervals because they've tested the heck out of their engines and they know how long the oil is gonna handle the things like heat and pressure and contaminants before it starts losing that effectiveness. I mean, they kind of wrote the book when it comes to your engine. It's not just some arbitrary number that they pulled out of thin air despite what your buddy on Facebook says. The intervals you see in your owner's manual are based on normal operating conditions, meaning that if you're driving your truck in mild weather, you're not towing heavy loads, and you're not doing a ton of stop and go traffic, you could probably stick to those guidelines. For most diesel trucks, this is gonna be somewhere in that 5,000 to 10,000 mile range, depending on what truck you have. But here's the catch. How many of us are actually driving under normal conditions? You're doing things like towing a trailer, hauling heavy loads, idling, or you're in stop and go traffic a lot, or if you're operating in extreme weather conditions, you're putting more stress on your engine, which means your oil is breaking down faster. In these cases, manufacturers often recommend shorter intervals for oil changes, which keep your oil fresher. We'll get into the details of severe versus regular use in a bit, but keep in mind that you may need to change your oil more frequently than it's recommended in your owner's manual, depending on how you're using your truck. So on the flip side, what happens if you don't change your oil? Well, the short answer is nothing good ever. Let's start with what old oil actually does to your engine. As oil is breaking down, it's losing its viscosity, which means that it's no longer able to lubricate your engine's moving parts effectively. And when parts aren't lubricated effectively, friction increases. And when friction increases, heat increases. And over time, this heat and this friction causes all sorts of wear and damage to components inside of your engine, which are 
just not cheap to fix, and in some severe cases, it can even cause complete engine failure. But that's not all. Old oil also leads to engine sludge buildup. You know, you remember all those contaminants we talked about earlier? If you're not changing your oil regularly, those particles are accumulating in your engine, forming a thick, gooey sludge that clogs up oil passages, reduces oil flow, and again, can cause premature wear and overheating and things like that. This is all bad news bears for your engine because it means that vital parts aren't getting the lubrication they need. In some extreme cases, not changing your oil even leads to catastrophic engine failure. We're talking about things like seized engines and complete failure on lower main bearings and all of that stuff. And trust us when we say the cost of replacing an engine far outweighs the cost of a simple oil change. So if you've been putting off that oil change, now's the time to get it done. It's like my granddad always said, ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Here's where things get interesting though. There's a big difference between what manufacturers are calling regular and severe use, especially in diesel trucks. And a lot of diesel truck owners don't actually realize that they're putting their trucks through severe use conditions. So what is the difference? Regular use refers to driving under optimal conditions, moderate temperatures, steady speeds, minimal towing, no stop and go, things like that. If you're using your truck for basic commuting or weekend drives, you're probably in a regular use category and you can stick to your manufacturer's recommended intervals here. Severe use, on the other hand though, includes things like frequent towing, hauling a lot of heavy loads, driving in extreme temperatures, hot or cold, stop and go traffic, especially if you're idling a lot, short trips where your engine doesn't have time to reach its optimal operating temperature and things like that. If any of these sound like your driving habits, congratulations, you're in the severe use category and that means that you should be changing your engine oil more often. For severe use, most manufacturers recommend every 5,000 miles or maybe even sooner. It's all about reducing that wear and tear on your engine and keeping it running smoothly. Now, I know it can be confusing to figure out exactly when to change your oil, especially if you're not sure whether you're driving under severe use or regular conditions. And that's why the best place to start is always going to be your owner's manual. It's got all of the manufacturer recommendations for your oil changes based on how you use your truck. And like we said, they wrote the book on this thing figuratively and literally. Equally as important as your oil change though is the oil and filter that you're actually using. A high quality oil and filter are crucial to this whole thing and if you're using cheap stuff, you're gonna get garbage out. I mean, that's just the way it is. Put garbage in, put garbage out. Speaking of quality oil and filters, if you're looking for top tier oil and filters specifically designed for diesel engines, you're gonna wanna check out the folks here at Docs Diesel. Their products are made to handle the intense demands of diesel engines, from high heat and heavy loads to just overall daily driving stuff. The oil they offer also is formulated to resist breakdown and provide that long lasting protection for your diesel engine. And of course their filters are all built to OEM specs without that crazy dealer markup because let's face it, the dollar doesn't go that far in 2024. Whether you're a daily driver or someone who's towing heavy loads frequently, Dox is gonna have the right products to keep your engine in tip top shape. Plus, they've got a great selection of filters that are designed to work seamlessly with their oil, providing maximum protection and performance. You guys can check all that out by heading over to DocsDiesel.com and picking yourself up a filter kit today. Now, at the end of the day, changing your oil is one of the simplest yet most important things that you can do to keep your diesel truck running smoothly. It's just a fact. There's no two ways about it. Whether you're towing, you're driving in extreme weather conditions, or just commuting to work, regular oil changes ensure that your engine stays protected from wear, heat, and sludge buildup. Don't wait for your maintenance light to come on. Take control of your truck's health today by staying on top of your oil changes and make sure that you're using quality products from Docs Diesel. So next time you're checking the miles, ask yourself, has it been too long since your last oil change? And if the answer is yes, you're gonna wanna take care of that quick. Drop a comment down below if you have any more oil related questions and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tips on keeping your diesel running strong.